Okay, guys, uh, what I've set up here is I'm, I'm just going to be showing you how to make some thrusters. Now, I'll, uh, I'll show you how I did it in 3D mode. Okay, I've got, I've got a relatively tall and deep room. Um, this is just Horizon, so that's why I have this shitty ash texture here. But now, what you can see is I've got this little step here, and I don't have it front textured because it slopes. And I've got the same thing on the other side. Um, now, these things you're seeing here, these are just white particle fountains. They're just there for effect. So, you know, it looks like there's air coming out of the the step so that it looks like a thruster, you know. And I've just got my step 4 texture on the side, and it just slopes up slightly. And some lava on the bottom, just, you know, make it dangerous. Um, there are a couple ways to do this. You can use, there's one way where you can use the actor enters sector thing, but I'm just going to show you an easier way. Um, got my front uh, line def just sloping this piece <coughs> and then I've got a a free a free line def just kinda chilling in here I set my grid to 4 to make it fit you know you can make your thruster any which size you want but put it in there and then select action you go to thing thrust Z because the Z means you know Z height and I set my force to about 125 your force is gonna vary from you know how far away your platforms are and how open your room is because you know if your ceiling's too low your player's gonna bash his head on the ceiling and shit so there's a lot of factors that come into it but this this um, this action comes very much in handy for capture the flag maps especially if you're modeling it after some of the quake and unreal tournament maps but um yeah so that's pretty much all there is to it. I just had this extra setup, but all you gotta know is Think Thrust Z, and you can add your white particle fountains, which are just under the decoration tab and things. Uh, I think they they look pretty cool, but I'll leave that up to you. I'll show you real quick. See, here's our little little ramp with the shit coming out of it, and just blast off. And we're on the other side. And we can use this ramp too. I'll look down for this one. Yeah. I mean, you can you can come at them any which way you want. Let's see, I missed because I was going sideways. So yeah, I'll die. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty much all there is to it. It's very simple to do, but uh, you know, sometimes it gets confusing because uh, a lot of the arguments for some of the actions are purely optional, like your thing ID, down up, add set, all that shit. You don't actually need that to get it to work. And, uh, you know, if you were just kind of playing around trying to figure stuff out for yourself, you could get confused just by all the different arguments for some of the line def actions. But, uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. If you have any more uh, questions or comments, feel free to shoot me a message and I'll, uh, you know, I'll see what I can do. I can only do so many requests at once. <laughs> but, uh, I'll see you around next time.